Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. In today's video, we're going to be hitting maximum skill average. Kind of insane. Been something we've been working towards for over two years. And all that lies in our way is a fishing level. You might think that's easy. It's going to take me most of today. Fishing is super slow. And at the time of recording this intro, Mayor Marina is now looking like she's going to be elected next. So... Kind of sad that I did this video literally a day before uh, finding out the Mayor Marie was in next, but it is what it is. If you guys are new here, though, and you want to support myself and the channel, make sure you subscribe and leave a like on today's episode. This has been a long time coming, so let's get right into it. Super quickly, though, if you do find yourself checking out in the Hypixel store, whether you want to buy some gems for booster cookies, which are through the roof right now. Actually, we're going to talk about this for a second. Inflation's going crazy. 9.2 mil a cookie. Now is seriously like the best time to buy booster cookies if uh, that's something you're into. Basically, every dollar you spend equals 4 million coins. And you can save 5% on your purchase when using code ZACH. That's Z-A-C-H. Save yourself 5% on checkout. Let me know how much money you guys make selling those booster cookies. But without further ado, let's jump right into today's episode. Okay, I do apologize. I think I have my fan on in the background. But unfortunately, I don't get to choose when I fish up Lord Jobbuses. So obviously, um, that's that's what's going on here. So yeah, we have a Lord Jobbus that we are dealing with. I don't don't have my hook thing for this dude that's super annoying let's just get rid of that a vanquisher too <laughs> everything's happening all at the same time all right uh let's get our first death in so that people uh maybe come and help me out please i really want to hit that vanquisher too i need the nether stars so badly for when we finally start doing kudra sorry about the uh the fan in the background truly uh i am i am sorry about that nothing i can really do about it unfortunately uh, let's get some damage in. I'm gonna go in with Spirit Mask soon. What is nice about spawning it up yourself is if you die and you aren't close to it, you don't lose your stuff, which is nice. If you're, like, leeching someone and, like, the mob dies, like, nearby, then you, like, don't get the loot share, which is always annoying. So, yeah, at least I'll, uh, I'll get the loot share guaranteed, or I'll, I'll get my fragment at a minimum, so that's pretty good. Alrighty. Man, Lord Jobbuses are kind of brutal to kill. There we go. I got my Nether Stars. Let me go ahead and swap to Spirit Mask. Let's get rid of these things really quickly. And, uh, yeah. I mean, Radioactive Vial would be would be relatively nice. I think that's safe to say. Uh, but you never really know with these. So, yeah. Kind of just gonna accept whatever happens. My Spirit Mask did proc. Uh, I should probably swap to, like, a fighting set when these things spawn. I mean, the boss fight's long enough, right? So... Maybe I should. Someone should let me know. I haven't gotten the Lord Jobbus in forever. Ooh, Bobbin Scriptures. Okay, and our Magma Lord Fragment. So, I will take that. Beautiful. Uh, I do need a ton of Bobbin Scriptures, so I can't really complain about that. Gonna be completely honest. We need these things for Bobbin Time books, as you guys probably are aware. And, uh, actually, I think I might have the stuff to craft some of these soon. I might have to start looking through what I have. But, we got our Fragment, which is, uh, always nice. Working towards the chest plate and the leggings, as well as the gauntlet. So we still have a long way to go. A little bit of a milestone here. Uh, we just hit Expertise 10 on the Inferno Rod, which is pretty nice, as you can see by the upgrade message in my chat. So yeah, Experience 10, or Expertise 10, sorry. Um, what does Expertise 10 actually give you? I know what Expertise does, but I don't know what the exact stat is at level 10. Is there any way to show? I think per level it's 0.6 Sea Creature Chance and 2 Fishing Wisdom. When killing sea creatures, I could be mistaken. Let me actually look it up quick. Yeah, so at level 10, it actually gives me an extra 6 sea creature chance, which is always super nice, as well as 20 fishing wisdom. So basically, because of this rod now, I get 20% more fishing XP, I think is the general breakdown. I know wisdom's like a little bit different now, so I'm not sure the best way to put that into words. Also a little bit of a golden fish here. Um, yeah, I've been fishing for a couple hours this morning, though. Obviously, main goal is magma lord stuff. So basically, anything from a lord Jobbus. And, uh, nice that this guy's doing this. What, uh, what, why? Also, um, yeah, that's kind of strange. And then the other side of it is Fishing 50. We are, like, 32% away from Fishing 50, which is really exciting. And for anyone who doesn't know, that is my last, uh, skill that I need to level up. It's the last skill upgrade I have, if you aren't counting, uh, Catacombs and Dungeons, I guess. But I have plans to work on that in the very near future as well. So, in terms of basically the regular skills, in terms of your skill average, I will be max skill average after this, and uh, looks like it's time to change lobbies. Also, I was looking into being able to craft uh, Bobbin Time books finally, because I want to put those on my Magma Lord helmet and boots, obviously, and then hopefully eventually when we get the Magma Lord chestplate and leggings, put those on there as well. 
However, the thing I'm missing, if we go ahead and actually pull up the Bob and Time recipe, for anyone who hasn't tried to craft it before, you need a bunch of different water orbs. There's a shark water orb, spooky water orb, lava water orb, and winter water orb, not to mention the so so on RNG drop of Bob and Scriptures. I've gotten three Bob and Scriptures now, and unfortunately I don't have all the orbs. You might be wondering what orbs I'm missing. It's none of this shark stuff. It's none of this spooky stuff. I actually have plenty of this. It's not the lava fishing stuff either. It's the, the winter water orb. And it's not hunks of ice. It's not snow. I'm missing white and green gifts. I didn't save any. I need to remember next time Jerry's workshop's open. I mean, I guess it's not a crazy top priority for me. However, it would be super nice to finally get that onto my armor. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's the only thing I'm missing. In fact, I even have two of every water orb crafted. The lava, spooky, and shark one just don't have white and green gifts, which is very unfortunate. I don't even have enough to craft one Bob and Time book. So yeah, kind of sad that I opened literally thousands of those in December this year. I really wish I paid attention to this is something I might need in the near future and I could craft them. However, it's it's just not. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. A little unfortunate, but it is what it is. I think the fan's on in the back. Uh, sorry, it's just boiling in my office. But uh, basically, we just hit level 100 on the reindeer. I've been fishing with that. Um, something I'm really happy that I've done, honestly, kind of throughout this Ironman profiles, no matter what skill I'm grinding, I've been very focused on maxing my pet levels. I've just think it's a really cool idea to have a maxed legendary version of every single pet or mythic depending on what pet it is obviously but that means i've leveled up some random pets for example like when they added all these new draconic altar stuff for the endermite i didn't have to go level a pet to get the benefits or have a lower level pet i had level 100 ready i think it's just smart to do having a max version of every single pet it does take the skill grinding process down a bit. Honestly, I think I could have been fishing 50 a long time ago if I planned on being efficient. Like, if we look at some of the fishing pets I have at level 100, we have my baby Yeti here. Uh, Ammonite, obviously, that one's actually worth fishing with. Um, Dolphin, that one was good to fish with as well. Flying Fish, I have level 100. I also have my... I'm trying to find all the fishing pets. Megalodon pet, level 100 um what else do we have in here we have our reindeer now which is level 100 and my squids level 100 and yeah just kind of just been focused on whatever skill we're doing same with farming like i have a chicken a bee like just all the random pets max level which i'm really happy about because if we look i literally have a page and however many pets this is max level which is pretty crazy as well as these two which all i just need to do is upgrade these to legendary which i will eventually but yeah, kind of been happy that I've been doing that. I still have this blue whale pet to level up. Maybe I'll fish with that to the end of Fishing 50, honestly. I think that's my last fishing pet that's not max. So yeah, really happy about that part. So I've just been fishing. We're at like 90% of our fishing level. And I actually just got my first mana ray gold, uh, which is crazy considering how much trophy fishing I've done. And then we get it now. So um, yeah, a little strange how this game works sometimes, but I won't complain. It's one of the golds that I did need for the next tier of the trophy fishing stuff. And if I'm not mistaken, is that 16 Skyblock XP for that one unique gold, if I'm not mistaken? So, I mean, hey, 16 Skyblock XP, I will take that any day of the week. Don't mind if I do. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's our first gold mana ray. Um, kind of weird, the stuff that happens when you just do stuff in this game for ridiculous amounts of time. Uh, there's just random occurrences, little RNG-related things. It's kind of cool how it all plays out, but uh, yeah. Yeah. No complaints we'll happily take that and run away with it and um i mean i don't think there's any other trophy fish i can get that i need from here besides a mana ray diamond that i don't already have like for example i already have a diamond soul fish actually just once again by randomly fishing here not even trophy fishing which is kind of crazy but yeah you love seeing stuff like that happen that's sick we are so close fishing 50 is literally seconds away which is beyond exciting. I'm currently sitting at 99.9%. .9%. Also, that blue whale pet, yeah, it went from level 1 to level 71, so that's, that's pretty chill as well. That kind of just shows how long I've been sitting here for. This has basically been my day. Fishing levels are not quick. Anyone who's done them knows that. But yeah, we are literally like one decent sea creature away from fishing 50 and max skills on our Iron Man profile, which is honestly insane uh never really thought we'd get here on this profile or like i was hopeful that we would but it's one of those things that's so far away you don't really think about it and now we're basically one sea creature away from hitting fishing level 50 
and being the current maximum skill average at the time of recording this video. Obviously, I hope there's updates that increase a lot of these skill caps. I'd love to see a Forging 60 update, Fishing 60, um, Alchemy 60. There's a lot of really fun stuff that they can add, so would love to see those, but Fishing 50, man, that is... It's definitely one of the hardest skills to get. I would rank it... Um, Honestly, probably the hardest skill to max, I'm going to be honest. A lot of people say forging is. Time-wise, it's not even close. It really is not. Uh, fishing is definitely the, the longest to max. And my goodness, as soon as I start recording, no good sea creatures. This is this is taking us a minute, but we may as well enjoy the, the final few casts together. Um, yeah, it's been quite the process. Like, stop giving me magma creams and stuff like that. It gives me 51 fishing XP. Uh, that That's kind of ridiculous as soon as I start recording, but... This should do it. Fishing 50. Wow. Plus 20 Skyblock XP. And there we go. We are now max skills on our Iron Man profile. 54.4 skill average. That's the current max. We are farming 60, mining 60, combat 60, forging 50, fishing 50, enchanting 60, alchemy 50, carpentry 50, runecrafting 25, social 25, taming 50. And we won't talk about dungeons. We're going to get to that uh, at a later date. But my goodness, fishing 50. Just got to let them know. My goodness, finally. We're max skills. That's that's insane. W indeed, Deathstreaks. W indeed. So that is going to bring us to the end of today's episode on the Iron Man profile. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. We're max skills on our Iron Man profile, which is genuinely insane. I don't know how many people on Iron Man have max skills. I know it's a large amount now by the time I'm doing this, but just a little throwback. I was actually the eighth Iron Man player to reach Forging 50. Little cool fun fact for you guys. Obviously, that's not the case for a lot of my skills. And I thought we'd go through really quickly and show you guys the rankings. So for farming, I'm currently in 3,597th. This is out of all players on the server, not to mention. 5,338 for mining, 16,473 for combat, 1,481st for forging, 8,188th player to reach fishing 50. Uh, unless someone's hit it since I recorded that Fishing 50 clip, which was actually I recorded that yesterday. I'm doing my intro the next day. Enchanting, we're in the top 8,000. Alchemy in that top 16,000. Carpentry, 3,700. Runecrafting, 7,400. Social XP, 141st, which is pretty cool. Taming, 3,600. And Dungeons, we will not talk about. But yeah, really crazy the amount of skill grinding we've done over the course of this profile. Uh, it's never really been the thing I've mainly focused on. There's always just been stuff to do besides forging. Forging is actually the only skill where that's like the only thing you're doing. Like I did not need dark oak wood. I was just forging for the sake of getting forging XP. So excited to see a forging update in the future. Really happy that we're finally max skills. Uh, it's insane. We've been playing this profile for over two years. So thank you guys so much for all the support on the videos. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to go and leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.